Alright, uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good day, madam. Uh, my name is Amiru Shahid bin Amin Nasir and today I'm going to present about the lab assignment 4 which is I'm going to use the credit card fraud data set uh, to create a classification model using support vector machine in yeah, rapid mine. So, so first of all, I'm gonna uh, go to the operator and search for read.csv because our data is format in CSV. So, first, I'm gonna connect it first and go to the parameter import, cover, import configuration user. So, I'm gonna search for the place that uh, my dot csv so you can see here credit card fraud dot csv and we when we read it so that's it that's our data 928 examples zero special attribute and 31 regular attribute which is including row number right so that's it and in this in this uh, data set, we are gonna mention we are gonna the features that have not uh, included is time, amount, and class. So these three we're gonna make it as special attributes. So yeah, let's go. Uh, after we receive the data from the outside in Rapid Miner, so we go to the operator search for store this uh, function is to uh, store this this data inside the rapid miner so that after after this uh, we are not gonna retrieve the outside the uh, data from the outside so click here store go to the parameter uh, i'm going to store at the data and name it as assignment for step one so i have an error here got it okay i'm going to run it go to the design we select this data and there you go. A4 dot step one. So blank space again. Uh, okay. And then we retrieve this data. I have some error here, but never mind. And go to the operator set for uh, search for set for. Right. Uh, this function. Uh, we're gonna this operator is used to change the role of one or more attributes which is the three attribute that we mentioned so yeah go to the set row parameter search for uh, among okay first I'm gonna go with time as a level and I'm gonna add it I'm going to add attribute amount. I'm going to set it as ID. I'm going to add entry and class. I'm going to set as level. There you go. I'll run it. And in statistic, amount ID, class as level. And down here, you can see time, but not mentioned, but it's okay. We're gonna keep going and I'm gonna go to the operators search for real to integers. Right, this operator change the type of the selected real attribute to integer type. It also maps all values of this attribute to integer value. So I'll go I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the parameter attribute filter type go to single and change it to the amount and i'm going to select the include special attribute go run it 
there you go amount as integer all right and go to the operator search for new numerical to binomial binomial there you go and this operator change the type of the selected numeric attribute to a binomial type also map all values of this attribute to corresponding binomial values right and click go to the parameter and search for single and we select it as class and click include special attribute run it go to the statistic there you go binomial class all right okay it's okay next uh we're gonna we're gonna search for cross validation drag it put it here cross validation oh first i'm gonna i'm gonna connect it and double click to the cross validation in training uh, area i'm gonna put svm cross eh, sorry short vector machine here uh, this operator is an svm learner and it is based on the internal java implementation of the my svm right so first i'm gonna connect it as usual just to put it in the center and testing uh, as usual we're gonna apply it we're gonna apply model and performance so first we're gonna go to the apply model drag it put it here just one connected apply model all right and performance here this operator is used for statistical performance evaluation of classification tasks and this operator deliver a list of performance criteria values of the classification task all right and make sure it is connected as usual and run it there you go you can go to true false and true true which is uh, predict where we predict false uh, we get this value and true true also this value and predict predict we predict as true true false we predict, uh, we get the result is six and 439 we go to the kernel model we go total of support vector is 928 and offset is 1.293 there you go from v1 until v28 all right there you go that's all from me madam thank you so much